Hey, get over here. Get. Oh. Hey, what's going on, everyone? So today is a very exciting day because I'm taking little baby Ivy here to her new parents in Boston. Today's video is going to be about how to prepare your dog for travel and how to uh, fly with your dog during COVID and how to get them prepared. And before I get right into it, I know it's been a while since I posted, but the last time that I did post, um, shortly after that, me and Fully got into a car accident. Don't worry, he's okay, he's safe. Um, I did suffer some injuries, um, had a concussion, but I still have back problems and neck problems, but um, that's why I haven't been posting because I haven't been able to sit in front of the computer and record or edit or any of that stuff. I gotta get ready. I gotta get these dogs uh, to the babysitter, including Fuli, and um, yeah, I'll, let's, let's go, let's do this. Alright, so first thing you want to do is find yourself a good sitter and if you guys haven't seen my video on how to find a good sitter, I'll link it up up in the top for you guys to go check out. So that's what exactly I did. Um, I just dropped the dogs off at uh, my friend Sandra's. She's going to be watching uh, Philly and the other pup for me while I go uh, drop this one off. Uh, Sandra I've known pretty much my whole life. She's an animal lover. She's a trainer. She's got her own business uh, doing nail clipping and stuff for dogs and cats. All right, yes, thank you. So um, I trust her. I also gave her a letter um, saying that um, in the event of the emergency that I give her um, and she's able to take the dog into the vet and make medical decisions on my behalf. It's always good to have this uh, you know set up just in case because anything could happen the dogs could swallow something they could get into something whatever it may be they trip they fall they break their paws or whatever it could be anything so um, if you are traveling and you do have a babysitter make sure you set them up with uh, your vet's office and that little letter saying that they could um, take the dog in and make uh, decisions on your behalf i gotta get to the airport drop off the car get through customs and i'll see you guys in the next clip All right, I just got into the airport, so I'm walking over to check-in, and then I guess immigration. So, yeah, we've made it to the airport. Oh my God, my cardio is so bad. I really need to go back to the gym. I'm just approaching the gate right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to shut this off. You're done now. <laughs> Oh, that's oh. a sweet one. All right, so we just made it through customs and I'm on my way to the gate. And then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna give you guys an update of what just happened. <laughs> but I just got off the phone with the owners, told them that we got through customs and uh, we're gonna see them in about four hours. And Ivy over here is doing fantastic. All right, shout out to the US border um, service guys. They were super awesome, super nice to me. Um, they checked out Ivy, make sure that she was healthy. They said that she was super cute and I agreed. Anyways, they were very, very nice, very professional. So it was my first time that I actually had to deal with US Customs um, with flying a dog. Um, so I was very impressed with their, um, their customer service. Um, so shout out to you guys. Um, 
I didn't get their names, but they're honestly the best people um, that I've encountered in a very long time. All right, so I want to talk a little bit more about the soft crate and what the requirements are for each um, airline. Each airline has their own requirements of what's acceptable and what's not. The crate that I'm using, I got off um, Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the descriptions for you guys to check out. I've used this in the past before um, to fly a dog. Now, the way that I have prepared Ivy for this trip and what I do with other dogs is when I'm flying them is I really regulate their water intake. Well, it's a little bit easier with my dogs because they're on a raw food diet, so they don't go to the washroom as frequently. So, and I already know Ivy's routine um, when, you know, she goes to the washroom. And before we left the house, I kind of let her run around the yard a little bit with Philly. Usually about like six hours before the flight, I cut off their water make sure that they go to the washroom before we even get to the airport, before we um, even get into the car. Um, this was the case today that we left. She went to the washroom, both outside and in my car. You guys took a dump in the car again. What's wrong with you guys? You guys both went to the washroom before we left. What's wrong? Jesus. <laughs> Um, which is not a big deal because I do have a cover for the um, cover for the seats in the back so you really want to make sure that they do go to the washroom before you get to the airport now other than getting your dog going to the washroom before you actually put her in the crate there's a few things that you want to take with you to the airport and on your flight one of them is being you want to yes. bring pee pallets <laughs> now I'm probably not going to use this to be honest with you, um, they're more for show for me right now just so if there is an accident I could at least say like hey I was prepared, you know I missed it, um, whatever she had to go, when you gotta go you gotta go. So make sure you have pee pads, um, I have some um, paper towel just in case, um, I have Ivy right here in her crate. Ugh. Let's bring her in. I don't, I don't know if I could. You know what? I'm just gonna take her out. It's better to have her ask for forgiveness than permission. I have like a little toy in here for her to chew on to keep her entertained while we're in flight. She's been really good so far. Um, she's kind of been sleeping. The first five minutes was a little bit rough for her because she wasn't used to um, being in the crate. Now, if your dog isn't used to being in a soft crate um, for travel, you could always kind of get them accustomed to it a few days before your flight. Um, put them into the soft crate inside your home, maybe for like five, 10 minutes, see how they react. You can even pick it up, maybe do a couple of laps around your house, um, just so um, they get accustomed to being, you know, in the crate and walked. Um, and you could do the same uh, for the car as well, the car ride. We're so close. We're on our way. Boston's an hour and a half away. flight and Ivy did really really good she slept the whole she slept the whole flight and then when the plane landed she just put her head up and then put it right back down and went right back to sleep so I'm not gonna lie this is getting a little bit emotional for me it, no matter, no matter how many times I do this, it never gets easier. So, oh, I gotta pull it together. So I already messaged the owners and they're just waiting for me out in, in the luggage area, baggage area. So that's where I'm heading now. And I gotta say my goodbyes. That's it. Hi. 
Let's go. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, here you guys are. Oh, little guy. <laughs> go for it. Alright, oh, wait a minute, this isn't right, my head's being cut off, let's lower my seat a little bit. Alright, there we are, much better. Alright, so, that was very, very difficult for me. Um, it never gets any easier, but the only thing that I could do, and that what gives me peace of mind, is that I know that... Uh, this puppy and all the other ones that they're going to good uh, families and they're gonna have a really good life that's it for today's video I hope you guys got something out of this um, if you guys have any questions or you know you guys uh, let me know what you guys want to see more of over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be putting more content out I'm gonna try doing it daily um, I'm going to be heading back to Toronto tomorrow, so I am going to be in isolation. Um, like I said earlier in this video that um, I haven't been making these videos because, um, you know, life, we got into an accident and then, you know, I wasn't able to record, I wasn't feeling myself, I still have a concussion. Um, my head has been hurting ever since, so... Um, I'm trying to force myself to uh, make these videos and you know help you guys out because I do get a lot of comments not just in here but in my DMs as well that you know people are learning a lot from these videos so it's definitely um, a driver for me I really want to help you guys and that's it oh yeah and one more thing if you guys like this sweater uh, check down in the link below there's a link there for a Teespring account um, you could order one and yeah, I uh, guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.